I've been warned more than once that this is really one of the busiest expos when it comes to the buses that start arriving. It is a national expo, so from all of the provinces there are students that are chosen to come through, particularly from grade 10 to 12, where they are able to see and experience the different careers that are available in the tourism sector. And you, you and I both know, I mean, it doesn't, you know, there, there are so many different job opportunities available and this is a sector that has the potential to grow well beyond the projected forecast for the growth of the economy. This was something quite interesting that the Deputy Minister was telling me, uh, Fish Machlela, when we spoke to him a little bit earlier. Um, in fact, we didn't get to it while we were doing the interview on air. This was while I was chatting to him off air. He was saying that projections are made that this sector could grow up to seven to nine percent. Seven to nine percent, meaning that it could contribute an extra 1.9 million jobs onto the market if it is handled in the correct way. If we get private partnerships that happen with different entities and we keep on growing it because the demand is certainly there. So at the moment, now just to talk you through some of the figures, we the, the last figures we had uh, prior to COVID, one and a half million people were employed in this particular sector. That of course went down. About half a million people lost their jobs, unfortunately, due to COVID. But now the numbers are ticking up again. We're not too sure now what the number sits at, but the minister said that, of course, we will get those accurate figures once we see this season and year end come through. But, you know, those numbers that we, we could possibly double that figure is quite impressive. Now, when you meet young students like the one I'm about to have a quick conversation with, this is where you realize the potential within this industry and that we need to take it more and more seriously in order to not only grow skills that are needed for it, but also to bring jobs and bring in individuals like this incredible young girl that I'm about to speak to, uh, Nombulelo Mambane. She's a learner from Tembisa Secondary School. Now, there's a competition that they hold every time. It's a debating competition. She came in third position, and it's uh, the competition that the NTC holds annually. And I'm going to ask her what this was all about, what the debate was about, and what she spoke about. So nice to have you. Hi, Welcome. Man. Thank you for having me today. It's an absolute pleasure, and I know you've just finished your prelims, yes. so congrats on that. How did they go? Everything okay? Everything went well. Good. Thank you. Good. I'm glad, because that's what we want to hear. We want to hear that you did nicely and you feel relaxed and, 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 and happy to Confident. move into the finals. Yes. Talk to me about the debate. What, what was the topic? What was it all about? Okay, so the debate was uh, about the impact of tourism, I mean, of, of COVID-19 on the tourism industry. Yeah. Uh, which took place here around March and I was asked to participate in this competition. It has really been a great experience for me because I mean, I won the competition, I represented Gauteng province very well and I'm just so happy. That is fantastic. So, so you represented Gauteng and you won provincially for Gauteng. Yes. And then third overall. Yes. Well done. Yes. That is absolutely incredible. Yes. So. The effects of COVID on tourism was devastating. Mm -hmm. It was devastating. And, and obviously, you spoke to that. So perhaps in a nutshell, what was it? I mean, what, 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 what did you speak to about how bad, badly it affected this industry? I mean, a lot of people lost their jobs due to the COVID-19. The economy dropped immensely. Um, for us students, we had to stay away from school for a long time. That really affected our academics a lot because, I mean, we're not attending school and it was quite difficult for us to study at home with, with no help from the teachers. So COVID-19 really affected everyone else. I mean, everyone in the country yeah. and in the world as well. Well, you're here now and you are going to obviously have a sort of VIP pass to all of this and get to participate in a whole bunch of things and see what's on display. Have you managed to walk around and have a look as yet? No, not really. We just got here. You just got it. here? Yeah. Well. Is there anything that you're interested in? I mean, with all due respect, are you interested in this particular industry? Because when I spoke to you, you actually want to go into law and do uh, LLB. But, but are, are you interested at all in tourism? Yeah, I think I am. I think I am. Um, the tourism industry is a really broad industry. I mean, we get skills that are essential when you want careers that are in line with the tourism. Um, we also learn about marketing, the t tourism as a whole. We learn about, we get skills through tourism. Yeah. 
We really do. More skills than we even know. Yes. Listen, I want to wish you the best of luck. Have a wonderful, wonderful time here at the Expo. Thank and you. continue to shine and good luck with those finals. Thank you so much. I hope you blow the lights out and I'm going to find your number if I ever need a lawyer. I, I hope will. I never do. You. I, I <laughs> don't want one. I don't want one. Anyway, talking to us, uh, winning the competition here and taking first prize in Gauteng and third nationally is Nombolelo Mambane. Uh, she's from Tempisa Secondary School.